Hello everyone and welcome back to another edition of Tyler's Sports Cards. Hope you all have an excellent week out there. It is Wednesday today and on the channel we're going to open a new product. It doesn't even fit on the screen here because it's a nice big hobby box of 2021 Topps Archives Baseball. So many fantastic designs in Topps Archives this year. Usually they only do uh, three designs for a 300 card checklist. But we still kept with the 300 card checklist here, but with seven years of Topps, we have a card design from every decade, plus this 2091 design as well. As you can see here, there's 1957, 1962, um, what is that, 1973, 2011, and 1991, among others, like 2001, 1983, and plenty of cool inserts, two on-card autographs per box. Uh, what you can expect with archives, look like the odds will be inside, but 24 packs, eight cards per pack. Let's get them out. Oops, that's right, there's a movie poster on the front, and it's the Killer Bees. I hope it's, who's it gonna be, some Red Sox? No, <laughs> what am I thinking? I'm, my mind's on Bogarts and Betts. It's in the past, it is Biggio and Bagwell, of course, them and Lance Burke, and the original Killer Bees before the Bogarts, Ben and Tendi, Bradleys, and all those guys, but, Pretty sweet there. Jeff Bagwell went to the University of Hartford. Both Hall of Famers. Let me put that off to the side. And let's get into our packs. Ooh, pretty iconic. Uh, just a base looking archives pack. No pictures on the front. Plenty of names on the front of the box though, like Key Brian Hayes, as you can see there, Bobby Dahlbeck, and plenty of the other big rookie cards that we have come to know this year. And it seems like this year is coming quickly to an end. Obviously, we are now into November and a couple more products left in the calendar this year, but soon enough we will be flipping it over to 2022 and Wander Franco. But uh, let's move this down here a little further and let's see what we can get. Here are those odds again. Uh, I've watched some videos like Hasa Cards and it seems like they, there's a decent amount of color in these boxes, at least from what I remember. I know I opened last year, but uh, fan favorite autographs are expected of retired players, but you never know who you might get. And we're going to start it off with Pedro Martinez. I'm not going to say every year design. Uh, Matt Chapman, A-Rod, Todd Helton, Christian Pache. There is one of the bazookas. I believe that is from 1991. Very nice there. Colton Wong, Kyle Hendricks, and Reese Hoskins. So we'll just put all the base cards. Uh, we'll put them in a pile on the screen. I was thinking I'll do it to the side. It's going to be a large stack, but... Yeah, I got the update next to me from yesterday. I have not gone through and sorted yet, so don't have much room. Lou Brock, Jordan Alvarez, Jeff Bagwell, nice Lourdes, nice hair on Lourdes on that 57. Greg Maddox, my oh my, there's one of the movie poster cards with uh, the 1995 San Lomaris. Of course, they made the ALCS there. David Fletcher and William Contreras, really big fan of the 2011 design. I think it looks sweet. Of course, it's iconic. It's got the Trout rookie, Freeman rookie, Hosmer rookie. Not too bad that year, too. Most importantly, of course, Trump, though. Uh, Luke Voigt, Larry Doby, Luke Gehrig, Trent Grisham. Max Scherzer looks like a type of foil here. Is that going to be out of 150 or something? Yeah, it is. 18 out of 150. So I think it's just a, a foil card. Of course, Mad Max is a free agent. Jim Palmer, that's our first look at the 2091 with Ted Williams and George Springer. Of course, uh, unless something drastically changes, there won't be a 2091 card for Tops as they're losing the license to fan that fanatics in the coming years. I wonder if they knew that before they put out this 2091 design. Uh, Honus Wagner, the yellow really doesn't show there. Paul DeYoung, Gary Sheffield, Sam Huff rookie card, Jonathan India, put him to the side, that's a good one. Trey, uh, Alex Krilov is our next 91 bazooka. There's Trey Mancini and Kyle Schwarber. That's interesting. So you're telling me Topps update, uh, you couldn't get a Wander Franco in there, even though Kyle Schwarber's in his Red Sox uniform when he got traded uh, in the end of July and Wander debuted in early June. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, Ketel Marte, Ryan Sandberg, Willie Castro, Tristan McKenzie, Yermin Mercedes, Dave Winfield, and some 2091s here with Zach Greinke and a nice Luis Robert like that. Oh, I like how it has 140 years of baseball cards in the top left. That's kind of funny there. Just noticed that. Things are opening rather smoothly, all things considered. Nice Lindor with the Mets, Willie Stargell, Clayton Kershaw, Brandon Crawford, Chris Bubick. There's our first uh, one of the 1963 peel off big head cards with Alex Krilloff, Nolan Arenado, and Zach Gallen. It was a pretty solid name rookie card last year with Zach Gallen. Of course, it's traded for Jazz Chisholm. Christy Matthewson, Keston Hira, Casey Mize. I will put Casey Mize with the bigger rookies. 
Tim Salmon for Gabe Jenkins. And our first autograph, it's a cool one because he is the world champion this year as the third base coach for the Atlanta Braves and looks to possibly be a manager again in the future like he was for the Rangers who went to back-to-back -back World Series. We're going to have Pee Wee Reese and Dylan Carlson here as well. But that is a nice-looking Ron Washington card. Big fan of Wash, and I think people would like that. Obviously, he wasn't a massive star in his playing career, but has become a fan favorite as a coach. Nevertheless... Doogie, Alex Verdugo there, Blake Snell, Spencer Howard, Aaron Judge, the family, the We Are Family Pittsburgh Pirates there with Dave Parker, Willie Stardrill, and uh, Manny Sangian, Carl Stogato, Carl Yastrzemski, and Bob Feller. Let's hope, I have nothing against Ron Washington, but I'd love for our next autograph to just be an absolute banger. That would be awesome. Let's get a real big star in here. Kilbadu, rookie card, that's pretty solid. He had a good year. Joey Votto, Walker Buehler, Gary Carter, Jose Abreu. Looks like it's going to be another out of 150 foil here of... Oh, no, that's out of 35. I wonder if it's because it's a blue. You can see that blue border there with the Scherzer, which just is white. But, wow, Spencer Howard, of course, got traded... Uh, no, it's out of 25. 16 out of 25 Spencer Howard. Must be a blue foil. That's pretty cool there. Got traded uh, for Kyle Gibson, Ian Kennedy, JT Ramuto, and Kirby Puckett as well. Is there a blue foil there? Got the red hot foil, blue foil, one in 94. I assume that's what that is. Pretty cool. Spencer Howard, just a pitcher, but was a top prospect. Eric Hosmer, Dallas Braden, Jemai Jones, Joe Morgan, Adrian Beltre, nice Tatis on the field off. Big head, Hank Aaron, rest in peace, and Miguel Cabrera, future Hall of Famer. Ron Washington in the 2002 design. I always like that design. Davey Garcia, Chipper Jones, nice Joey Bart, put him there, of course, now with Buster Posey retired. Gary Sanchez, Johnny Bench, Yadier Molina, Luis Garcia pitched some big games in the World Series and ALCS, and there's Raphael Devers also in the 2011 design. Jared Kelnick, one of the other rookies we're still looking for, Joe Adele, Ryan Mountcastle, among others. Tim Lincecum, Andrew Vaughn, that's a good one. Ian Anderson, also a good one. Andres Jimenez, I like Andres. Nick Madrigal, right, we'll put him there. Nice Mount Castle on the bazooka. David Peterson with the Mets and Adolis Garcia. This pack feels rather thin. I'm not exactly sure why. Maybe it's a little thinner card stock. We got Pete Alonzo, Manny Machado, Vlad Sr., Jake Crono, that's a good one. Can't forget Jake. Garrett Crochet, the swinging A is of the 1970s. Raleigh Fingers, Reggie Jackson, Vita Blue, Blue Moon Odom, Catfish Hunter, and Gene Tennis. Trevor Rogers, oh, we'll put him there. He had a good year. And there's another member of those swinging A's, Vita Blue. Those A's won what? Three World Series in a row? From 72 to 74. Brian Anderson, Colin Marte, Key Brian Hayes, that's a good one. Luis Patino, Herman Marquez. We have a green here at Kyle Schwarber. Nice looking green. That is out of 125. Tough to see right there. 35 out of 125. Like that green. It really pops. He is a free agent, so we'll see what happens with him. Devin Williams and Christian Yelich. But uh, I would say JV has exercised his opt, opt in and will be staying in Boston. So I'm not sure if Kyle Schwarber exactly fits in, but he was beloved here. In his short time, Justin Verlander, Stan Musial, Randy Johnson, Juan Gonzalez, nice Alec Bohm. Evan Longoria, Will the Thrill Clark, and Anthony Rendon. I haven't seen any of the uh, 94 draft pick cards, I believe, yet. See here, nice show, hey? Of course, looking at the future MVP. Vlad Jr., is talking about his only competition. Ramos Ramirez, Freddie Freeman, Marco Gonzalez, Robin Yount, Don Mattingly, and Orlando Cepeda. So, some great legends there. On the back, always love Topps Archives, and it's fantastic designs. I feel like we saw some 73 and 83 and stuff we've seen recently in Topps Archives already, but still, obviously really cool what they did this year. Not over to Montesi, the recently retired Buster Posey, Kent Herbeck, Yvonne Rodriguez, nice bazooka of Andrew Vaughn, Mike Soroka, Deion Sanders, and a 2011 version of Roger Clemens with the Red Sox. Roger Clemens, Barry Bonds on their last year with the Hall of Fame ballot. It'll be very, very interesting what happens this January. Elvis Andrus, Torrey Hunter, Dustin May, Jazz Chisholm is a very good rookie card. Mike Yastrzemski, nice uh, Andrew McCutcheon Uncle Larry poster, that is cool. Jesus Sanchez, you know, I'm going to put him with the Bill Curtis. He had a really good year, actually, when you look at it. And Giancarlo Stanton. 
attack. Sometimes good, sometimes bad. They open pretty smoothly though. Jackie Robinson, Tyler Glass, now Leo Tavares, Bo Bichette, Jacob DeGrom. John Cruck is our autograph, Babe Ruth and Jeff McNeil. Pretty cool John Cruck. A uh, big fan of him. Think he does a solid job. He's quite funny. In the Phillies booth, that is what the 1975 design looks like, the George Brett rookie card. But that is awesome. John Cruck there. All-star a couple times in the 1990s. So a couple fan favorites there coming out of the NL East this year at least. Ron Washington and John Cruck, member of the Phillies Wall of Fame. Nice looking card there. Albert Pujols, Jorge Soler, Randy Rosarena, Lucas Giolito, Lynn Dorr. Uh, we got some Whit Merrifield, Larry Walker, and Roy Campy, Campanella. Four packs left. Let's see if we can get another color. We already got two of them. Um, for now, you know what? Let's throw this Spencer Howard here. Give him some space so we can show the Sir Scherzer. Cutchin, Hugh Darvish, Eddie Rosario, Tanner Houck, rookie, DJ LeMahieu, Duke Snyder, Shane McClanahan, and Frank Robinson. So what do we get? Three numbered cards and two autographs. Pretty cool for archives. Don't know if I mentioned it, but I got this at my LCS for $120, which seems to be the going price. Kyle Seeger, Cal Ripken Jr., Cody Cure, David Ortiz is on the uh, Hall of Fame ballot. Garrett Cole, David Peterson. So there's our first look at the 94 draft picks. Taven Smith and Trey Turner. Uh, we'll just throw him up here with those bazookas. All rookies. Last two packs. Let's see what we can do here. Got Tay Oscar on the back. Nick Castellanos, Jack Flaherty, Mark McGuire, Reggie Jackson, Daz Cameron, nice Alec Bohm, Bazooka, Kyle Lewis, last year's Rookie of the Year, who got quickly forgotten, and Tay Oscar. Last back. Let's see what we can get. Chris Bryant in his Giants uniform, that's pretty cool. Brent Rooker, rookie card, uh, we'll put him there. Kyle Isbell, Jim Tomey, Mitch Hanniger, Paul Goldschmidt, Ozzy Albies, and we'll end it with Don Drysdale. So there we go. Three numbered cards, a bunch of top rookies, including Key, Brian Hayes, Jonathan Indy. We didn't get Kelnick, among others. Tons of great base cards uh, in the awesome design. I'm going to put this through into card checklist together for sure. And two autographs of some fan favorites, Ron Washington in the 2002 design and John Cruck in the 75 design. We also got Schwarber out of 125, Scherz out of 150, and our lowest number card was a Spencer Howard out of 25. Be sure to smash that like button. Also, uh, Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We got plenty more great baseball content coming on in the near future. Also follow my Instagram and my TikTok down in that description box below for extended content. Let's put Dylan Carlson on the front. I think he's gonna have a great future and I like that 2011 design. Uh, so yeah, make sure that like and that subscribe button. We got plenty more coming up. Uh, thank you and I look forward to the next time.